my god, Manny Rodriguez. What's good, Manny? Can't complain, bro. You know, I finished doing my eight rounds of sparring, so uh, happy getting ready for my next fight. All right, uh, what's the date for the next fight? November 12th, we fighting at Atlantic City Showboat. Um, thank God, man, I'm moving consistent. It's never happened in my career. It's the first time, you know, that I, uh, in less than a year, I got four fights, so um, I'm super happy for that. Like, during the pandemic and right before, like, it was a tough time for you. Right. Uh, guys kept pulling out. Um, you couldn't find opponents. Now you got some traction. Number 10 in the world. Yes. Congratulations. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, bro. Working I, hard, man. I worked hard for it. So, I mean, it's just opportunities that came in the table, and I took full advantage of it. What, what made you uh, stay so mentally strong during the time where everything wasn't going right? My kids, man. Uh, it's all I got, bro. All I know how to do is to punch and, and, and get punched. So, um... It was just basically that, bro. I just believed in myself when nobody did, and I just kept pushing, kept pushing until now that I'm number 10 in the world. So I'm, I'm super grateful first with God. Uh, he the one that wake me up every day and, and, and give me the power and the energy to put in the work every day. You take advantage of that uh, and live life the way it is. Now, is this next fight going to be a step up or just some uh, stay busy fight so you can see what's going on with NOE and Paul Butler? Um, no, I, I, I hope it's the W, uh, I'm the champion for the WBO Latino, so I hope it is the title. Um, I just listen to my team, whatever they say, I don't really, it really don't bother me as long as I keep fighting, because no matter what, now that I'm ranked number 10 in the world, I'm going to just keep going up no matter what, if it's just a step up or not, if they just going to keep moving me up, so, um, I, it really don't matter, I would love for it to be defending the title though. Why do you feel like you're peaking at this time? Um, I'm 29 years old, so I am a little older in the boxing world. Yeah. Um, that don't really mean nothing though. If you barely took punishment, and my style, I barely, I barely take, you know, I barely take punches to my face. So, uh, um, I don't know. I have no idea. Just the hard work. Um, I guess at a certain moment in my life. I wasn't as focused as I am now. Um, did a lot of things, you know, a lot of things in my past that just had me stuck in boxing and point period and, prog and, and, and progression. So uh, now that I'm just focused on just boxing and just my family, I feel like, you know, uh, I'm in my feet. What's 2023 going to be like? Can we expect maybe? I know you about to reach like main event status, so you might slow down. I'm already, a bit. I'm already met. This is my fourth main event. Fourth main event this yes, year. Yes, this is my fourth main event. So okay. um, I'm grateful for that, you know. And thanks to uh, Ross and Star Promotion for that. Thanks to my management team, STV Management. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I just hope a, a, a big promotion company come and just watch me. That's all I need the opportunity, so they can see me and. and and God willing, you know, they give me an opportunity in one of their fights and prove the world what I'm made of. Honestly, with that weight class that you're in, it makes sense. Top rank probably makes the most sense. Yeah. Bob, if you're listening, top <laughs> rank makes the most sense. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. I like my ass. I, well, look, listen, I'm, I'm not married to no one. So whoever give me the best contract, you know, whoever really decides to work with me, um, that's what I'm going with. I like uh, top rank, match room, uh, Al Heyman. I'm... It is what it is. I just want to fight the best and show that I'm one of the best.